let's take a look at the tail of the tape where we have Sweden's Daniel Carlson against Finland's Tommy Leinonen. Carlson somewhat older, Leinonen somewhat taller. Okay, I can't wait anymore. Let's hand it over to the Welsh Dragon, Ricky Wright. Live from Stockholm, Sweden, Fight Club Rush presents three five minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner. Tonight he makes his debut, weighing in at 84.4 kilograms, fighting out of Finland, Tommy Leinonen. And his opponent in the red corner with one win, weighing in at 83.9 kilograms, fighting out of Sweden, Daniel Carlson. Your referee in charge of the action, Daniel Eklund. Okay, the excellent Daniel Eklund in charge of this middleweight clash between Finland's Tommy Leinonen in the blue corner and Sweden's Daniel Carlsson in the red. And, you know, I'm actually kind of surprised. Daniel Carlsson is one who's a former light heavyweight, but Leinonen kind of towers over him. Yeah, I was about to say, he looks big. He's a Big, thick Finnish boy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know if he competed as a light heavyweight? I actually uh, believe it was middleweight. Amateur. Yeah, middleweight as an amateur. Yeah, Jamal Nasheed of Dario Belendi. They're, I believe they're all middleweights. I'm loving the kicks from Carlson. Yeah, the first time uh, that lane on them is kicking without the shin pads. That's a very good point, CM. And though he had very little to say, Leinonen was brimming or sort of booming with confidence. He said, uh, I don't know much about my opponent other than that. I'm better than him everywhere. Oh, oh nice, nice right yeah. hand there from Carlson. Leinonen looks like he's chewing gum. Like he has I was a about to say. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope he's not. Here's the takedown attempt. Wow, Carlson nice. gets it. Now keep in mind, his pro debut he was won via ground and pound, so he is obviously a guy who's dangerous in top position. Leinonen needs to keep that wizard that he has right now. That's his way to stand up. So hopefully he can use that. Yeah, he should get his right knee like closer to the cage. That's a beautiful knee. Yeah, that was a beautiful knee. Oh, another nice solid knee to the midsection there. I mean, the pressure for Carlson is really good. Look where he has his head. He's super annoying with that, with the, with the head control also. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful clinch here from uh, Carlson. Yeah, let's see if Leinonen can find his groove here and really get into the fight. He looked a little startled uh, at the beginning, a little, you know, bewildered. But I feel like might, he might be finding his groove right now. Well, I mean, Panny, you can speak to this. Making your pro debut, it's different from amateur leagues, right? There is. is a little more at stake. It does feel a little more serious. Of course, you get a bit more nervous, especially without the chin pad, like uh, with all the protection, small gloves, and somebody can elbow you through the face. I mean, it's different. A potential elbow to the face would give me some nerves, that's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I mean, the pressure from uh, Leinonen is really good right now. He, ha he has Carlson on his back against the cage now for over a minute. Not a whole lot of offense, though, from the Finn in the advantageous clinch position. Whereas Carlson goes straight to the knees. I like his activity here. Oh, and the cage is like... You know, you can, you can hear it ache with the pressure from these two that gigantic middleweights. And I want to ask you, Panny, how does it feel to get your, like, fingers caught, like, in between, you know, the person and the cage, like, when you're fighting? Does it hurt? I or? mean, I've, I've been through nails popping out. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. So it's, but it's mostly, like, afterwards, after a fight, your back is all blue mm. because of the cage as well. Not only fingers, but, yeah, everything can get stuck there. Maybe we should have, like, plexiglass or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be the best decision. I'm going to do clinch work from both of them. Super technical. I am, though. I do wonder a little bit. Carlson did put a lot into those that slam takedown. I'm in a second attempt here as well. That is very energy draining. 
I do want to see Carlson. He did so good on his feet, like uh, working in and with his combos. I want to see him get out there again. Yeah, I do also feel like he kind of had the advantage in the stand-up. Mm -hmm. He landed that one really nice strike that seemed to catch Lane on an off guard. Yeah, and just like you mentioned, Penny, if you look at Lane on his back here, you see that cage is really Ooh. Ah. low blow. Yeah, they need to pause the timer here. Yes, there we go. As we let Daniel Carlson take a little bit of a breather here. Okay. Looks like we're ready to continue here with this middleweight matchup. And again, Carlson looking pretty slick on the feet. Yeah, he does. And and uh, Lindgren has a really low guard as well. So he can easily pop in some jabs there. Yeah, Lindgren with his mouth wide yeah. open. It's breathing I heavy. All oh, those kicks from Carlson. Those are going to add up. That's money in the bank. And you see how he checked? Oh, oh went wow. high, slip and a miss. A very interesting style from Lehmann. Yeah. Um, I feel he, may, he might have an adrenaline dump or something. He looks like, like his shoulders are heavy. He's keeping his hands down at his waist. Not really. Okay, that was a snappy jab, but... Another nice right hand connects there for a Swede. Oh, and another. And one chest at the break as well. Just a little bit. A little bit for the media. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just a little seasoning. A little exclamation <laughs> yeah. point on the sentence. Okay. So here we have some of that action. It was a flashy move, but it didn't really pay off for, for Carlson as he went for the spinning attack there up against the cage. Yeah, let's see. I, I think we might see some more action in the second round because both fighters are quite open. So mm -hmm. it feels like some stuff might start to land now. Um, you know, Leinonen might find his groove. Carlson might find his. I feel like both fighters were pretty tense in the first round. Yes. Kind of yeah. Feeling nerves. each other out. Yeah, a lot of nerves. I mean, both guys, you know, relatively stoic or not the kind for trash talk, but I do feel like their stare down at the Wayans yesterday, there, there was some tension there. There was definitely some tension. A little tension. bit spicy. Yeah, a little spice. A little spice. <laughs> okay, second round, here we go. Sweden versus Finland. Again, it's Carlson putting on the pressure. That was a nice leg kick there, though, connected to Lehmann. Kick to the body. Hey, Carlson is opening up. That, that right yeah. hand from Carlson is money. You can see the redness on the side of Lehmann's face. Oh, and that leg kick seemed to do some damage. Yeah, yeah he's been working that since round one. His, uh, his low keys are really hard. Yeah, Carlson has a lot of uh, family and friends and fans here tonight. A lot of support. I was surprised at the at the takedown attempt. Yeah, me too. I, I think Carlson is excelling in the stand-up. I mean, it's situations like this where he can get turned around, where where that advantage might might not really serve him so well. But it, like you said, team, it could be this adrenaline dump. This is this is not. They haven't done that many fights, and they maybe haven't found, like, the, you know, when you come into the third breeding or something mm. like that, you mm. can't really control your breeding yet. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. I see a takedown attempt from Paul, so he gets it. Good work. Straight to side control. 
It took a lot of energy, but he's still like on top. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Lennon then is keeping his right hand around, not framing. Now oh, there's a frame. Oh, nice. Solid shots are on the way up, courtesy of Coldstone. Yeah. I think Lennon they might go for another ride here. Yeah, it looks like it. I call you Mystic CM. <laughs> So it'll be interesting if this India this fight does go to a third round. Neither fighter has ever gone the distance in a pro bout. In fact, neither fighter has gone past the second round in a pro bout. And that's where our conditioning, that's where we, you know those extra kilometers of running and jogging really pay off. Yep. All right. Oh, nice. Lane and snaps him down. Oh, solid knee to the face. Now that is a big difference between the amateurs and the pros. The knees to the dome. Yeah. It definitely forced a change out of cold snow. And somehow I feel like Lindemann could be a bit more fresh right now. Well, I mean, most takedowns, the, the very power takedowns yes. that calls them, it's not necessarily, you know, the slickest technique. It's pure power. And he uses a lot of his power, and maybe that will, like, affect him right now because he gets pushed off of against the cage, and that's why Leonard maybe looks a bit more fresh, and his takedown was more technical. Yeah. That's a great point, Penny. This is also a great way of draining your opponent's energy. It might not look like it, but you know there is a battle for position going on here. Those knees to the thigh, courtesy of Lane and Hunter, also adding up. That's an investment for the third round for sure. I mean, I definitely think we we are uh, much more even now. Yeah. When it comes to like this fight. Boy, almost. Almost took his opponent for a ride there. Chelsea for position. I mean, in this, in this clinch here, Lainan has been really strong. Nice job from Carlson to separate now. Just under half a minute left of the second round. And now, now the fighters are pretty tired. Like at the end of the round, this is where things open up. This is where we can see some clean shots. Nice check there from Lainan. Absolutely. Immediately yes. after separating, that is when you are pretty much exhausted. But also, if you're exhausted, that might mean you don't throw. Mm. It can point. also happen. Okay, interesting. Could be one round of peace now, or maybe Carlson did enough initially in the, uh, in the second round to establish an early lead. Well, I would say we could be even in the rounds, 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. Totally depends. Yeah. What, what are the uh, judges looking at? I mean, both had really good, um, really good clinch pitches, uh, positions. Both had both offense and defense, but They're yeah. Very hard to think? judge, right? But what do you guys think? What? Hard to judge? Yeah. yeah I think it's pretty hard to, uh, to judge. When you don't know if it's 2 and 0 or 1 and 1, it's like. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, they don't pay us to judge, no. so. <laughs> and thank goodness for that. Okay, seconds out. We are gearing up for the third round. There is one very hyped up thin here in the <laughs> building, I'll tell you that. <laughs> They're firing off the kicks. First 
responded to in turn by Carlson. Looking for that left hook is Carlson. Nice, oh. nice. I like that. I like that. Peppering shots. More of that. That looks good for the judges as well. Yes. Absolutely. When your opponent is forced to cover up and retreat, that is definitely a good look for you. I mean, that looked easy for Carlson, just throwing yeah. away like a six, uh, six combo. Really kind of drowning him in volume, mm -hmm. Max Holloway style. Oh, oh. nice. Oh, connect there. Oh, Carlson might be hurt. Yeah, something connected. It might be the need to the solar plexus, perhaps? Yeah. I hope Leonard knows this. <laughs> See if he can capitalize. Carlson's got a good poker face, so he's wearing it well. Yeah. Take down attempt there, but easily defended by Bethin. You can see both these fighters kind of tired right now, feeling it. Both breathing heavy, looking at each other. Hit him in the face, Daniel. That's what the coaches say. That's good advice. That's what he did. I like when Carlson uses his jab. It works well. Oh, and there's that right hand again. Yeah, more of that. Ooh. But the knees yeah, of Daniel. close. Left kick, punctuate that combination there from Nainman. He's looking for that jumping knee. Yeah, yeah, he is. Oh. Oh. You know, sometimes it just takes a little time to find your groove, find your rhythm. I think that might have been the case with Lainan, and I think maybe the lights felt a little bright there in the first round. He was, you know, having to pace himself in a different way as this is pro, not amateur, but he definitely looks he looks comfortable now. Yeah, he looks way more relaxed. Hopefully it's enough, you know? If you lose, like, the first round, you, you have to catch up. Yeah, it is an uphill battle after that. And, you know, we're all a little unsure about the second, so. Yeah. Could end up being a close one. Oh! Take down there from Carlson. That left knee inside there is so important for Leinonen. Turtle. Oh, that's a nice ramble. Let's see if Carlson can hold this position, land some more ground and pound. It would definitely help his case for the judges. But again, I feel like Leinonen has got a good job at returning to his feet. Yeah, he has really good stand-ups. And a lot of the fight, this has been the story of the fight so far. A lot of clinch work, a lot of knees. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of been turning it around. Let's see if... It, if Tommy can turn it around here, and he does. In a lot of ways, kind of a mirror match. Yeah. yeah that is a good point, seeing as we... Oh, oh, nice shot off the break there for Lena. Let's see who can put like a stamp on this yeah. round. I feel like we need a stamp on the round. Again, like this. That straight right of Carlson is just wonderful to see. He's landed so many times with it. Final 20 seconds approaching here. As we clinch up. And a big takedown and maybe some subsequent round of time would surely be a good look to end the third round with. Oh! 
This was a really good takedown from Landon. Yeah. Okay. So, also looking pretty good on my feet, especially when we're firing off that straight right. Landon and good with the knees, good in the clinch. Yeah. If I'm looking at effective striking and grappling, looking at damage, I'd go Carlson here. What do you guys think? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I Most likely. I mean, the, the second round, you know, could be debated, but I think first and third, Carlson did enough damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said, Tim, I think, like, if you add up the ground and pound, the takedowns, the top control, it will be Carlson. We will see. Like you said, we're not judges. <laughs> Regardless, I'm sure a great learning experience for both fighters. They were both tested in in ways that they haven't before in the pro leagues. Scores being collected as we speak. Just waiting to see that wonderful cream tux on our announcer, Ricky Wright, mm, yeah. as he collects the scores here around the cage. And the time that it's taking makes mm -hmm. me think this might be a close one. Yep. Maybe a split? Yeah, maybe. Both fighters kind of wearing the story of a fight on their faces. I want to get to know that Finn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, he's hard to get to know, I'll tell you that, Penny. No, I mean, the one in the audience. Oh, <laughs> the, yeah, yeah. The screaming. He's got some personality for sure. Okay, it seems like we have a decision. Let's hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, who scored about 29-28 Carlson, 29-28 Leinonen, and 29-28 for your winner by split decision. In the red corner, Daniel Carlson! Be honest with me, when you were waiting to hear the result and you heard it was a split, how nervous were you? Very nervous. It was a tough fight, a close fight, and uh, yeah, it could have gone either way. So I'm, I'm happy I am got the win, obviously, but heads, uh, heads up to Tommy. Well, yeah, he didn't come here to play. He really put it on you, and it looked like he landed a pretty solid knee to the, to the body, to solar plexus. Well, maybe you were a little hurt. How bad was it? It wasn't uh, that bad. I was uh, in the fight, uh, but he hit me with a couple of uh, good shots, and uh, yeah. And you're the former light heavyweight, but this guy was big for this division. How hard was it to deal with such a large opponent? I'm used to fighting larger uh, opponents uh, because I was in the light heavyweight with, with uh, a national team. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm used to it, bigger guys. Well, yeah, clearly you can handle anything these big guys throw your way, but that begs the question, you're 2 and all now, one decision, one TKO victory. What's next for Daniel Carlson? I'm looking to stay active, so... And the middleweight, I like uh, to fight uh, constantly, so, yeah. All right, middleweight, stand up. Your opponent is here and ready to go. Let's hear it for your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Carlson!